Self-Contained and Resource Attendance Management, or SCRAM, is a system used to collect special education information for three purposes. One, to determine state special education funding for the district or charter school. Two, to enable required federal reporting about disability categories, environments, entry, and exit data. Three, to report state, district, and charter school compliance with the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act through the Annual Performance Report, APR, and the State Performance Plan, SPP. This SCRAM Data Quality Training Series is designed to provide brief descriptions of each reporting category within the SCRAM module of your student information system. Every student information system used in Utah, SIS 2000, PowerSchool, Skyward, Discovery, etc., has a special education module that is used to collect SCRAM data. Data from the SCRAM module is included with the daily upload to the Utah eTranscripts and Record Exchange, or UTREX, system and must be maintained throughout the school year. It is the responsibility of the district or charter school to make sure that the SCRAM module within your student information system is current and accurate for the UTREX upload. In this video, we will discuss the requirements and expectations for reporting in the time category. Time is a report of the number of minutes of special education and related services provided daily to a student in grades K through 12, including students up to age 22. Time is not reported for students enrolled in preschool programs. When reporting time, the information you need comes directly from the services page of the Students Individualized Education Program, or IEP. After the team identifies present levels of academic and functional performance and writes goals to address each area of need, the team must consider the type and amount of services that are required for the student to make reasonable progress toward the goals. Special education services are areas of specialized instruction that will be provided so that the student will advance toward annual goals and be involved in and progress in the general curriculum for their age. Related services are provided so that the student can benefit from special education. For each service listed, the IEP team must identify the location, amount of time, and frequency of the service. After the IEP team has made these decisions, you must calculate the service minutes based on frequency to determine a daily average. In this example, the IEP team has determined that some services should be provided daily some weekly and some monthly. To convert weekly minutes into daily minutes, simply divide the total by five school days per week. To convert monthly minutes into daily minutes, divide the total by 20 days per month. Although the number of school days differs each week and month, these numbers will result in a reasonable average daily minutes of service. Please note that in these calculations, you will not consider the location of service. Time is a representation of the number of minutes of special education and related services provided to the student, no matter where those services are provided. Services that are provided in the general education classroom, special education classroom, or some other setting are all included in this calculation. Once you have calculated the average daily minutes of special education and related services for the student, you are ready to assign the student a time code. USOE allows districts and charter schools to submit one of three time codes for each student. A is used for students who are receiving one to 59 minutes of special education and related services daily. B is used for students who are receiving 60 to 179 minutes of special education and related services daily. C is used for students who are receiving 180 minutes or more of special education and related services per day. For the purposes of calculating state special education add-on and self-contained funding, students with a time code of A or B are grouped into the category resource. Students with a time code of C are grouped into the category self-contained. The category labels resource and self-contained have no relationship to the location where services are provided. Although the category label self-contained implies that the student receives all or most of their educational program in a special class, 
this is not the case. For a variety of reasons, some students do not attend the full school day. In these situations, you must calculate time as a percentage of the total number of daily enrolled minutes. For example, you may have a student with intensive medical needs who attends public school for two hours or 120 minutes daily. The IEP team would meet to determine the goals and services that the student needs in order to access those two hours of public school enrollment. If the IEP team determines that 90 minutes of special education and related services are needed daily, the team must calculate the service time as a percentage of the total enrollment. 90 minutes out of 120 minutes is 75% of the total minutes enrolled. Instead of categorizing this student with a time code of B, which translates to 90 minutes, the team would use the time code C to represent the minutes of special education and related services out of the total minutes of enrollment. As noted earlier, the time code reported for each student is used to determine amounts for state special education add-on and self-contained funding. In order to ensure that your district or charter school receives the correct funding amount, it is important to keep the SCRAM record current and accurate throughout the year. If at any point in the year the IEP team determines that the minutes of service should change, the student must be exited from the current program with the exit code service change and re-entered into a new program with the new time code. This could happen at any point in the school year. Currently, some student information system SCRAM modules combine the disability type record and the time record into one program type. For example, for a student with the disability type autism, the student might be reported in the program AUA, AUB, or AUC. If this combination is the case for your SIS, you will need to be aware of the service time when you first prepare to enter the student into the disability type program. This concludes our session on requirements and expectations for reporting in the time category of your SCRAM module. If you need more information about special education reporting, please view our other SCRAM tutorials, visit us online at www.schools.utah.gov forward slash SARS forward slash data hyphen management dot ASPX or contact the USOE Special Education Data Specialist Paul Ashby at paul.ashby at schools.utah.gov. Thank you.